All right. Here we go. All right, so I'm playing Call of Duty Warzone, which is awesome. Military game. Free video game, too. Um, uh, Battle Royale game. And I have, like, flashbacks to uh, Fortnite. Because when I started playing Fortnite, everyone was just, like, a million times better than me. At all times. And uh, I saw a quote on uh, Reddit recently. Someone said... The thing I like about Fortnite is when I try to build a wall and a ramp up to it, and I get to the top of the ramp to go shoot my enemy, he's built a replica of the White House. <laughs> and that's how I felt. So then I got in Call of Duty Warzone, and it comes with training. So you practice, and then you jump in. And everyone was better. And uh, But it was just fun. Like, the map is neat looking. Like, the, the environment is neat looking. Like, running through hospitals and warehouses and um, residential areas and uh, apartment buildings. and um, I like it. And uh, so, you know, the second someone saw me, they just take me out. I was so frustrated. Um, and I had this idea of how what kind of warrior I wanted to be. And when it turns out, the kind of warrior I am is... Uh, get the biggest machine gun with the largest ammo clip on it. And the second I hear footsteps or see movement, I fire it up, start working on that area, I stop moving, I raise it up to my eyes, and then I see if there's something there that I can see. And next next thing you know, I'm uh, I'm leveling up. Next thing you know, I'm uh, I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. I'm not, I'm not someone you just push around. But it takes me like 75 bullets of suppression to like, oh, the guy's right there behind the trash can. Then three bullets to, uh, to get rid of that guy. Malt liquor. Oh my God, it's so much fun. Some fun, mo fun moments I've had. Oh, actually, yeah, so I play with groups. So I played with a couple of friends uh, that I've known for a real long time. That was a lot of fun. And... Uh, I played with just strangers, and one of the strangers uh, got killed. And when you get killed, you go, how does it work? You get killed, and you, either, you go to the gulag where you might you fight someone else that got killed, and then whoever wins can come, come back to the game. But if you lose, you're not kicked out of the game. We could buy you back into the game. So he can see how much money we have, we have, and he knows he has some time. So he says to his wife, he's like, honey? She's like, yeah. She's like, he's like, what's burning? She's like, what? She's, he's like, what's burning? She's like, he's like, she's like, what are you talking about? Something's burning. He's like, I smell smoke. She's like, where do you smell smoke? I'm like, he's like, I smell smoke in my house. And I'm asking you, what's burning? She's like, I don't smell anything burning. He's like, the, uh, the smell of smoke is really strong in our house right now. And you're saying you don't smell anything. Our house smells wonderful to you right now. You can't smell a thing. She's like, I don't smell a thing. He's like, I hope our house burns down and we die. <laughs> oh, God. I, I think we all know what's going on there. <laughs> it was just fun to hear. Um, all right. Another good moment. Uh you could get hunted, uh, which is a great thing because, like, if you play singles, uh, people just go into a house and sit there for 10 minutes. I watch because you could watch people. You, like, uh, you're just spectating. And I just watch someone get in a house and just sit there. They probably go off and go do something. They come back. They time it. It's so boring. Um, so you get these, uh, these missions to hunt people down. It'll give you their rough location. And then it'll notify them. You're being hunted. It's uh, Russian, too. And uh, I was being hunted, and all this crazy stuff happened. And uh, it was just totally chaotic. I was like, I, my, like, all this, like, so much weird stuff happened all at once. Like, I got lost. Um, I got caught in this, like, fog that pushes you in and hurts you at the same time. I couldn't make it over this wall. I tried to grab a card, and it didn't work. And, uh, I finally come out, and this wall, the wall of poison's right behind me, and I, I got this building that I just came out of, so the poison's surrounding it, and then, so there's everything, the only thing, the only place there could be a threat would be in front of me, and it tells me, like, there's these red bars that say, 
maximum threat. Like someone's right there. And I'm like, I'm like, it's me on a patio. There's a road. Uh, there's a field. And then in the distance, there's uh, warehouses. And I'm like, I, I don't see nobody. And the road has like a divider, one of those things that keeps people from driving through and hitting someone head on. And uh, there's a bush there. And I can see two red dots in this bush. And I don't know what on this person is two red dots. Um, but it looked like eyes. Like these two red eyes staring at me out of these shadows. Um, so I lift up my gun because I had a scope on it. And sure enough, he moved a little bit. And I could see a guy. And I just hose him down. But it was like, it was so intense. Like the fact that he had like worked out how... Uh, how I must have had to come through and he ran around and then hid like he just planned everything out perfectly and I don't know what he was waiting for like I kind of had the 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 building I was kind of like against the building and so maybe he was waiting for me to run for it. he's like well, the second he runs for it, I'm gonna hit him when he should have tried to shoot me right but he had no cover maybe that was it so that was fun that was real fun um and you get all these different guns, which is fun, and you level them up, so you just can't use everything, which is kind of a shame, but um, it makes you work harder and fork it, focus more on weapons that you'd like to, to pr progress. And uh, I find the second someone starts shooting, I always have this, <gasps> this kind of moment, this surprise moment of uh, slight panic. And I think that games are meant to be fun, um, and I think bullets are meant to go down range. So, uh, I turned out, I was like, started to be really good with this like gigantic machine gun with like a hundred round clip that takes like five minutes to reload. And, uh, the second I hear something or see movement, um, or have a bad feeling, I just, I start opening it up. I'm like that guy in predator like that and then like, I'm, looking, I'm like oh there's a guy behind the trash can the guy behind the trash can is like ducked down because he's like geez that guy's like hosing down uh, his whole environment I'm like oh there you are and I direct like 20 bullets into that person so I'll spend like uh, 80 bullets hosing down the area while I look and then you know 20 bullets that direction you know and then 5 minutes of reloading that's a blast and like I had this idea of who I wanted to be, and like you could even get a guy that has a cowboy hat, um, but you have to pay money. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to be a cowboy because like I want to have fun. Like I don't want to go there and be a sweat lord. I don't want to see how many wins I get under my belt. I'm gonna go in there and have a blast. They have a lever lever action uh, carbine or carbine carbine. That sounds right. Um, so I want to get the lever action carbine, and they have like a 357 wheel gun. Um, but it turns out I'm a machine gun guy, so I'll continue to work on that machine gun and then like slowly peck away at my uh, uh, my cowboy skills. Mutt liquor. Uh, and also the guy with the cowboy hat kind of looks like a beefcake. He looks like he might dance at uh, your fiance's uh, bachelorette party. Oh, there's like a Russian skin. Well, like the whole game's Russian. Um, I, but I think there's American and Russian, uh, you know, body types. And uh, one of them, I think, is a Russian guy, I think, because of his tattoos. But he's wearing, like, sweatpants. He's got no shirt on. And he has, like, a tattoo around his right nipple. He might want to have one around his left nipple, but I just wasn't, I wasn't going to look that closely. Hey, what do they mean, bro? Ha <laughs> But I'm like, why would you want to be that guy? <laughs> but the thing is, though, there's tons of guys like that. Oh, my God. I'm about like a... Uh, I have the uh, nine minutes. All right, that's enough about the game. But about tattoos. Uh, I have tattoos myself. Um, but tattoos reach a point where unless... You're already dialed in. Um, there, however much money you spent on that neck tattoo, is not how much money that's costing you. Oh my God.
you know, not that having like sass. You got to be like jo what's the name? Johnny Rotten. Uh, is that his name? I can't remember the name of the band. But he has like the sweet eagle, not eagle. He has an owl tattooed on his neck, and then he has like a uh, a sigh. What's that? He has a weapon on his cheek, and uh, I'm like, you got to be dialed in, you know, before. I, hey, go drink some water, honey. Go drink some water and eat your food. Go on. And uh, you got to be dialed in before you do that. Or what he said, like, I saw him talking. He's like, he's like, I just never want a real job ever. That's where you got to be. Because once you, once you tattoo, once you tattoo yourself like that, <sighs> you, you, uh, unless you're like some sort of hardcore, I could work at home doing computer programming or something like that, like. Even if you're a tattoo artist, actually. Um, yeah, I'd have to do some research, but like... It seems to me... The tattoo artists I've met have tattoos. But a very kind of reasonable and subtle amount. <laughs> One of my friends tattooed a uh, a joke on his ribs. It was brilliant. Oh my god! God, what a gorgeous day! Better go inside and play some video games.